Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Kenneth Increase here, and I am here to show you how to save symbol art. So, what we're gonna do? X out of that. I'm gonna X out of that. So, when you're in the game, you just bring up your menu. PC, it's Escape. Xbox One, it's the Start button or the Three Line button. You're gonna come over to these cogs here, and you're gonna go up to Symbol Art, and then you're gonna come up to this yellow box. You're gonna click on that. You're going to go to history. Be warned, some of these are not family friendly. And I don't know how long it's going to take until this stuff gets... Uh, to be family friendly, I don't know if they're moderating everything or not. So just be warned. This is why I waited so long to make this video. Because I can't get six of them that are not uh, lewd in some way or another. So here we go. In here... You can uh, find an image you want, left click on it or hit A on the Xbox, and you're going to hit save. What you'll do, you'll come down. Alright, so my first page is full, I come down to the second page. I just hit A and it's saved. Now you want to share it, we just go back up to your save list. And let me go... Click on it and you hit share now. Bam, you shared a symbol art. That is the easiest way to save and share. Uh, I do not know how to import symbol, symbol art, but I'm going to show how you save if you find one that you liked. I want to say I showed it off in a stream on how to create it, but real quick to cover that, uh, you just go to an empty page, you click on it, and you go to edit, and then at the top here, you have standard and small. Standard is for chat, small is for alliance flags. It's how I got this symbol right here made. Uh, that is my alliance symbol. It's a cowboy with two lightning bolts. And I think an explosion behind it. So the eyes are red. That's why I did it. But if you want to make something, you just hit A. Or left click on add part. And you go through and you add parts. Uh, there are letters. Then you have the symbols for, uh, Fantasy Star. So you can do a lot of things and you can layer the options. There's 225, uh, layers you can put on. And I'm going to just put this in here. And then we'll add a teardrop. Now, if I wanted to, I click on it and go to color. And you got a full range of color. Like, it just be like so. And I can resize it as need be. Uh, if I wanted to move it, I come over here to move. And I can just use my arrow keys. Uh, come down to this one. You know, you, you there's a lot you can do. You can send it to uh, different layers. So if you want this one above that one, just click this, go to sort, move up one, and now that's above the other part. And if I want it down one, just move it down one. So you just, you know, you layer everything together. That's all you do when playing or when making these. Again, it, I showed you in the beginning on how to save it. When you're done, you just overwrite and save, and it saves it into that slot. And you'll have ones like this, where it says Mesta help or help me or buff, which I didn't. I gotta edit because I don't have the full thing in here. Uh, the duplicate, you just go down to edit, duplicate, and you just go to move and woo, buff. There you go. That's that one, and I just click save, and it's saved. When I go back, bam, now it just says buff. So, that's the kind of stuff. I, there's some way, I'm assuming, that you can import stuff, because look at this fantasy star thing. Uh, look at this, how the shading is on there. Like, I, I'm pretty sure you can still make it up in the game, but... Uh, this looks almost identical from the game. You know... I can see how you get make the stuff. Same time, I can see how you find a third program and then just bring it in. So that's everything. I hope that helps. I know it's a little rambly, but I wanted to show you this once I had clean pictures to show. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else that you need help with. And the rest of this week, there'll be the remaining episodes of Star Wars Jedi Academy. And there may be one episode next week as well. I don't... I think we'll have enough for this week, but we'll, we'll see. Anyway, 
Have a wonderful night, everybody. Peace out, and thank you for watching.